Hi, I'm Greg Eilers, and this is a ScreenFlow tutorial on how to use the social networking tool of Edmodo.com. Edmodo is a great social networking tool that's age appropriate for students from elementary all the way up to high school. And I chose Edmodo because within my action research project, I have a goal of creating better student engagement and motivation within the classroom and outside of the classroom walls. And I really feel that Edmodo is a great platform to use uh, to be able to do this. So that's why I chose it. So what is it? It's a secure and trusted environment. It's social learning for classrooms. You can share ideas, files, and assignments. And you can actually download the Edmodo application for your iPhone or iTouch, Android, for all those students that love to use those cell phones. So I'm going to log into my account and basically show you the ins and outs of Edmodo. This is the interface of Edmodo. This is what students will see every single time they log in. So as you can see, it's got that Facebook slash Twitter feel to it. And when students see this, that are already kind of have a you know good grasp on social networking, they're already interested in using it. They're already engaged in, in how to use it. And you know, with all the digital natives that we have running around our classrooms, um, they, they get to know this really fast. So this is where you can post comments. This is where you can send individual messages to, to a group or just individual students or even another teacher. You can create groups. For right now, I have a fifth grade group and a sixth grade group. And this is cool because I can just limit those specific students within that classroom access to Edmodo. They can't invite other students from other schools or other classes. Um, it's just specifically for them. So that's good for the teacher because they can really limit um, who's a part of that group and who's not. Um, a great thing to use is the calendar. The calendar basically is a way to implement deadlines, put in your lesson plans, and just you know overall objectives of what you want to use Edmodo for. And your students can see that. This leads into grades. Now currently I'm not using the gradebook, but it's a great tool to use if you want to input scores of things that you're doing within Edmodo. The library is a great thing to use because students can basically go back and see any um, uploaded videos or uploaded podcasts or RSS feeds that you've put or other students have put that, um, that go along with the lessons that we're learning in class. You can also delete things that are not appropriate or don't go along exactly with what we're doing within the class. Now, I use Edmodo every single day with my students. I use it as a great form of encouragement. I like to encourage and communicate to my students within this, and, and students love to get messages from me. Um, they always reply to it, and I've also already gotten some great feedback from parents stating that their student really enjoys you know, hearing from their teacher and kind of, you know, getting that feel that they're, they're accepted in class and that, you know, they're a part of the class as opposed to just being another student within my class. So that's cool too because it gives the students some ownership within the classroom. A um, couple other things I want to show you on Edmodo. On the right hand side you can post alerts. So basically that's reminders of things coming up that are due. Assignments can be uploaded and downloaded by students. I can have RSS feeds on here. I can subscribe to something, and currently I'm subscribed to a couple of math um, RSS feeds dealing with the real world application of math. And we all know that if you teach math, the question comes up when am I going to use this in life? Where am I going to use this, Mr. Eilers? And RSS feeds is a great way to prove to them the current events going on in the real world involving math. So that's a great tool to use within Edmodo. I can also share links. I can share links that I want them to check out on the internet or embed into an assignment that I want them to use for research or whatever. And then polls is a great thing to use too. If I want to put a poll on there just to create high interest or get a feel for certain things going on in the class or maybe it's an activity going on after school, um, that's a great way to get feedback from your students about certain things. So as you can see, I had one on the World Cup here, um, just kind of as a fun one. So yeah, that's basically Edmodo. It's a great tool to use and something that I believe is really going to promote student engagement and motivation within the classroom, which is my main goal for my action research project.